What's for dinner? Hey everyone, I'm Chef Z and welcome back to my channel, Chef Z Cooks. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some guandule guisado from scratch. Now you're probably thinking, time out Z, don't you already have a recipe on your channel on how to make guandule guisado? And yes, as a matter of fact, I do. But in that video, I actually used canned pinchin peas because I wanted to show you how to make that delicious dish really fast, really quick, and super easy. Today, we're actually using raw guandules and we're going to pressure cook them and it's still going to be super, super tasty. Now, be on the lookout because I will be sprinkling some tips and tricks to helping you get this dish perfect each and every single time because let's face it, I have to set you up so that you can impress your mother mother-in-law, your boyfriend, your family, your friends, you name it. So let's go ahead and get started. Making guandule guisado from scratch is actually really easy and the key to making this absolutely delicious is to use the freshest of ingredients and to have a little bit of patience because you'll see why later on. So to get things started, we're gonna take our raw guandules and we're going to place them into a pressure cooker. Now I do have an Instapot, but whichever one you have is fine. And you wanna add just enough water so that they're covered completely, which for me was about three cups. We're now going to pressure cook it on high for 45 minutes. And this is going to make sure that our guandules come out really nice and soft. And once they're done, we wanna carefully release the pressure open the lid and you want to make sure not to get hot because those fumes are pretty hot and the dish itself is also warm so we're going to place that off to the side and then in a large dutch oven we're going to add some olive oil and some roughly chopped onions and peppers and garlic now it's up to you if you actually want to cut them into finer pieces or if you even want to use some sofrito I went ahead and added some kosher salt just so that it can help the veggies sweat a little bit. I'm going to mix that until it's well combined and I'm only going to saute them for about 2-3 to three minutes until they release their delicious aroma. I'm now going to add our softened guandules ahead with any liquid that may have been left over. Now you're going to notice that guandules are actually as tough as black beans and take a long time to soften and they also take a ton more water. So I went ahead and added about three to four more cups of water. I'm going to add some Dominican oregano and some tomato paste and I'm gonna make sure to work it in there until it's well combined. Now this is the moment when I say that you definitely want to have patience because it does take them a while to soften even more. We're gonna add some fresh cilantro for some more added flavor. Now you're going to notice that this is pretty much almost the same exact recipe as making some Dominican style beans and I'll be sure to link that video down below. I'm now going to add some fresh aoyama, which is kamboka squash, and some more kosher salt. And feel free to adjust the seasoning to your liking. Now for me, laoyama is absolutely essential when making guandule guisado, and it's actually one of my all-time favorite ingredients. So after about 20 or 30 minutes, you see here that the guandules are actually thickening up really nicely. And to make them even thicker, you can actually mash up some guandules and even the aoyama to make it nice and thick. Now I like to go in and I like to clean up the guandules. So I take out all of the onions and peppers and that's part of the reason why I actually left them rough chopped pretty big, just so that it makes it easier to clean up. Now, if you're using sofrito where everything is already blended, you can feel free and skip this step. Now, at the end, I like to balance everything out by adding some brown sugar and some vinegar, which really brings the flavor alive and it balances everything out. Now, again, it's totally up to you if you like it a little bit thicker, go ahead and mash it, but that's my recipe for a guandule guisado, which you can enjoy with some rice, some beans, or even some chuletas, which is actually my favorite. So here you guys have it. These are some really yummy guandule guisado, which by the way, me and my mom go absolutely crazy for it. Don't worry if you don't have the same exact pressure cooker that I used in today's video. Those settings are actually pretty universal. Now you guys know the deal. 
subscribe to my channel, join the Chef Z family, click that bell so that you're notified. Just know I have so many tasty recipes and videos here on my channel. So if you're still hungry and you're looking on what to make next, click anywhere here on the screen. And now it's time for me to dig in. Mm. 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 That is fire. That is seriously fire. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. You know what's crazy? These are so good. I don't even realize I don't have the rice made yet. <laughs> I can just eat it straight like this with some cassava. Oh yeah. So good. Mm.